Hello viewers, good day. As you can see, my name is Dina Tori. I know this COVID really makes someone be indoor. This lockdown really affects everybody. But it's time to also, this is an opportunity for us to also learn some practical words in English. Previously, I do teach pigeon English, but today, to be specific, I have to teach simple English. Maybe I will do it for a period of time. For it's good for the beginner if you want to learn simple English, just simple English. You don't need to complicate yourself with a lot of words. But as, like I said before, it's good for the beginner. Guys, this is a time for you to learn your language, English language. And it's a very simple way. It's very you can use it to communicate with everybody that speaks English. So we are about to start today. Today is on the third of May, so we are going to start today this lesson. I'm going to be uploading it very often this time. I promise you, I'm going to teach you every corner of in English that you are going to learn. Don't worry. We're going to start from words. Like I said before, we are um, you are about to learn what I call. Simple English, just very, very simple. You don't need to complicate your, your words or say something that you know that this is not grammar, but when time come, I want to teach you something about grammar. So, start from here. He said, I'll write, who wrote something to this word? I don't want to write it. You see, I write, it's a present word. Just like you just said it now, now, it's what is going on now. He writes. Don't forget, S after the year. You can also say she writes, but he or she they're almost the same. He writes, she writes. So very simple, guys. What about the passwords of it? I wrote. I am gonna wrote it. I wrote it. Yeah. He wrote it. Or she wrote it. Very simple, guys. Future word of it. I will write something. Or something is not yet. I will write. Meaning, for example, you said, Tomorrow I'm going to write something to my colleagues. On email, on anything, on, on WhatsApp, or anything. I, write some, I will write something to, to you. You know? Okay. He said, he will write something. He will write something. It's a future word. Okay. He told me he will write something to you. You know? Okay, don't worry. I will write something for you. To give to your teacher or to give to your doctor or to give to the pharmacist. So that, let me say, for example, prescriptions of drugs. I will write some prescription for you. To give to your doctor so that you can acquire the drugs. You know? So... Very simple, guys. Do I write? Is a question. That is why you see question mark here. Do I write? Is there a need for me to write something? Do I write? Yeah. You see? Does he write? After we are talking, does he write something on this book? You mean you wrote, you wrote something here? Does he write? The present words. So, don't worry. For you, you have to write. <laughs> if you write, you can write something. As if you are, this is very normal. So, password is said, did I write? Did I write something? You are not the one that write those things. Did I write? I'm not the one. You know? Did they write something? Let me say, for example, did they write? This is... Clear, but if you want to use the sentence, you can say, Will they write something? As we are talking, will they write something? Did you say you want to try something? No. Did they write? Very simple. What about the future words? Will I write? You know, to, uh, for example, I would say, Tomorrow I'm going to teach something on this board. I'm going to write on the board. You might ask me a question and say, Will I write? 
If you are teaching, will I write? Or is it purpose that I write? You see, this one also talks about will he write? Will he write or no? You see, if somebody said, okay, I will write. You, will I write? What about him? Will he write? You know? It's like that, guys. What about this? He said, I don't write. The words I don't write. He does not write. He doesn't. He doesn't write. If you are learning, you can say it does not. But he doesn't write. He doesn't write. Okay. He doesn't write. It's a past tense. It's a, it's a present tense. I mean, I'm sorry. This one is a past tense. He didn't write. I didn't, I didn't write. He didn't write. He didn't write the exam. I didn't write the exam. You know, Pastor didn't write the exam. I didn't write, you know. Facial word, I won't write. Are you sure that the exam is coming next week? Are you going to participate on it? No, I won't write. You know, something like that. <laughs> I won't write. That was he won't write. He won't write because he does not pay fees or he does not pay or he's not around. He won't write. So, guys, that is it. I know this time is very terrifying for everybody. Please stay indoors, just like as a illustrator, as a as the authority always try to let people know. Follow their uh, precaution, uh, precautionary measures, and try to. Be allowed anytime when there is a new announcement about the COVID-19. Please, guys, try to learn new words in this period of time and try to be strong and try to be vigilant. Not about learning, but try to be vigilant and try to do some sport as well. So we're going to be uploading this every every two, two days. Just stay tuned if you're a beginner of English, you want to learn some words in English, very simple words. And if you just, if you have any question to ask me, you will write it down. Put it on, on the comments. Let me know what, what, what you would like to know, what sentence you would like to make. Very easy, guys. I will be here with you guys. But in this period, I'm going to teach, I'm going to commit, uh, commit myself into English fully. But maybe I will be doing it week to week maybe this week english the next week i have to be pigeon english so if you're interested in english or if you're trying pigeon english don't worry i'm still here i didn't i didn't run away from pigeon that is my second leg fraca in my country so stay tuned guys hope you always be with you thank you for your participation nice weekend and enjoy yourself